What is up you guys it's your boy DJ Lil back again with another tutorial and we talking about panning today panning your vocals left and right so I had a request on my other tutorial that I did and uh, this guy wanted to know how I panned the voices to the left and right how did I get them to sound like that he was referring to this right here Sexy to the man is torture. Let me buy you what you want. You can come sit over. You got turn a good man to a Casanova. Nice to know ya. So, what I did there on the backings is pretty simple, right? Let's get to it. But before I do that, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and give this video a thumbs up. And let's get back to business now what I did here is pretty simple it's a thing that is called panning you can do it in any software I think I'm gonna do it in Cubase right now and I'll do another one in reason and in Pro Tools as well so uh, what I did first was to record two similar backings I recorded first and I took another take not to duplicate but then to record two separate takes of the backing like uh won't you can come sit over you casanova nice to know ya i told ya yeah they call me lil yeah so you can see it's two different texts that i tried uh i tried to make them similar now panning is as simple as going to your track fader to your track settings rather so you see this equalizers inserts sends fader where there's fader you will find out that here you will always find zero let me put zero there you will always find zero it will be on the center so for this trick to work you need two tracks that's why i say you need two different texts that means if this is center then you need another one that is also center right so a thing that I always do is to make the artist give me two or three different sets uh, of backings. Like if I back with this type of octave right here that I already have, then if the performer can also perform another different take of different backings, I'll take two of those as well. So I'll make I'll make them pan uh, right and left, uh, but I'll make them differ on the on the number on the panning number so here's what i mean i'll go here on this wave then i click if i'm putting this 65 right to the light to the right i'll make sure the second wave i make it a negative 65 because they're the same take and i want to expand them like that and i want the left to balance with the to the right you know so you don't want to complicate things this is what i do it's as simple as that now you have panned your vocals if you solo them here they'll be left and right Over. you can even see on the meter Casanova. readings nice to know ya. you can even see on the meter reading so if you go far left uh far right and go to the far left you also see on the meter reading you can come sit over casanova it will also show you it's completely to the far end of the left or the right if another way to do this you can still go to your mixer if you can see here well i think it will be easier on the mixer but what would be on the easier on the mixer is to rename this put this like b1 and this like b2 so you know you have marked your first set of backings so you when you go to the mixer you don't get lost looking 
for them. You go to the mixer through the studio window and you say mix console. Oh, there's a shortcut there. I think it's uh, on my laptop, it's FN plus, I think it's function three. That's it, it brings up the mixer window. That's the shortcut. So when you come to here, you are looking for B1 and B2, easy. Then once you find them, you make sure you put them the same volume, put the same volume and go to panning straight. And the, the, the panning is right here. It's just simple. It's not going to be, it, it, it's going to show you is standard panner when you go up here, standard panner. So what you need to do is just move it left or right, left or right. Uh, you decide which one goes where. So that's as simple as that. And that's it. That's all I did to those backing vocals. It was the panning. Now, without taking more of your time, see you next time with another tutorial. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and give this video a thumbs up. And uh, that's it. You guys, until next time, stay black. <laughs>